Creo que hay una demostración clara de que nos encontramos ante ejemplares no humanos que no tienen relación con ninguna otra especie en nuestro mundo y que se encuentran abiertas todas las posibilidades para que cualquier institución científica los pueda investigar. You know, this is something that uh, we, I, I know I've only seen on Twitter, so it's, you know, um, when we have unusual things, you want to make data public. I think of this as like NASA has one of the most valuable samples from outer space, lunar rocks. What do we do? We make them available to any scientists who want to work on this. We don't know the nature of those samples that were shown in front of them. If I was the Mexican government, I would or make a recommendation to the Mexican government. That's not our charge here. We're doing this for NASA. My recommendation was if you have something strange, make samples available to the world scientific community, and we'll see what's there. I'll just add that one of the, the main goals of what we're trying to do here today is to move conjecture and conspiracy towards science and sanity. And you do that with data, as David says. And that's the whole purpose of this study and this roadmap.